Hello, hello, guys. How are you guys doing today? Hi. Hey, it's nice to see you again, guys. Welcome back to another class. Um, hope you had a good day that you're here. So today we're going to try to learn as much as possible, okay? Thank you so much for being on time too. I do appreciate that, okay? So, Jocelyn, I see that you raised your hand. Do you have any question? Yes, teacher, thank you. Es que aún no salgo de mi trabajo, entonces solo voy a estar escuchando la clase. No sé si hay algún problema. No, that's perfect. Thank you so much for letting me know. I appreciate your, your commitment to the class. Thank you so much for that, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. All right, so uh, thank you so much for the other ones that are here on time. I appreciate that. So today, guys, uh, we're going to try to learn uh, a new topic. And before we start, I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to the topic that we saw yesterday. What was yesterday's topic, guys? Can someone tell me? Transportation. Transportation, okay. That was about transportation. How many types of transportation do I have or do we have in English? And can you tell me any one of them? Any type of transportation? The road. Road transportation, very good, Carla. Anyone else? Alguien más? No se peleen, ¿verdad? No, mucho, demasiado. No se peleen. Okay, so uh, Carla already said road transportation. Do we have any other one? Tenemos algo otro? Any other? You don't remember, do you? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, Subway. What, what you said, Carla? Subway. Subway, you said. I, I can you repeat that again? I didn't listen to what you said. Uh, subway. Subway, okay. That's a mean of transportation. Very good. Um, uh, I want to say I'm sorry, guys. I completely forgot. Se me olvidó completamente to send you the presentations. So that's my bad. I will try to send it today after the class and I will ask you a favor, okay? If in case, a mí se me olvida and you remember through the day, send a text message in the group telling, please teacher, send us the presentation, okay? Envíenos la presentación so I can remember and I can send it to you, okay? Please. Can you hear me clearly? Si me escuchan todos bien, everyone. Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Cool. So what's, como le llamamos al tipo de transportation que es como un ship? How do we call to that type? Marine transportation. Say it again. Marine transportation. Marine transportation, transportación o transportes mari, marinos. Do we say it that, like, that way? The truck. The truck, okay. Nos estamos acordando al azar, ¿verdad? but that's fine, that's perfect, okay? So, let me see, we're going to do a practice right now. Vamos a hacer una práctica right now to remember, para recordar what we saw yesterday, okay? Let me see, um, on the chat, on the chat that we have on the call, en el chat que tenemos en la llamada, I will need everyone, todos los que están acá, to, to type, que escriban, the way we write, como escribimos, um, let me see, just give me a moment. Uh, Globo aerostático. 
How do we write that in English? Vamos a ver si es cierto. Ajá. Uh -huh. In the chat. Try to write sin estar viendo el teléfono, vea, sin estar siguiendo a Google, sin estar siguiendo a translator, nothing. Solo lo que recuerda. Okay, we have Carla, she says fire blue. Okay. What about the other ones? ¿Qué hay de los demás? ¿Qué se recuerda? Fire balloon, Griselda, she says fire balloon too. Okay, thank you very much. Vanessa too, she's saying fire balloon. Okay, who else? Air globe balloon, Jose Alberto. Okay. What about the other ones? Somos 14. And I just have four answers. Solo tengo cuatro. What about the other? Cuidado con irse a Google, vea. Don't use Google. Okay. Jose Lopez, he says hot air balloon. Denise Marcella, Denise Marcella says air balloon. Okay. Hot air balloon, Marvin, okay. Rita, Rina Margarita, air balloon, okay. What about the other ones? ¿Qué hay de los demás? Todavía me faltan unos por ahí. I just have Carla, Griselda, Vanessa, Jose Alberto, Jose Lopez, Denis, Marcela, Marroquín, Marvin Marroquín, Rina, Saul, Balloon Air, okay. What about the other ones? Okay, let's see. Vamos a verificar cuántos le acertaron. We're going to see who got it correct and who didn't. So we got, let me see, one, two, just two people, solo dos personas, de todos los que escribieron, lo escribieron correcto. And who are they? ¿Quiénes son? We have Jose Lopez and Marvin Marroquín. We say in English, hot air balloon. Okay? That's what we say, globo aerostático. Thank you very much. Let's see another word. Vamos a ver otra palabra. Uh, how do we write, como escribimos, carro de nieve? How do we write that? Todos. Carro de nieve. Please, I ask you for honesty. Les pido honestidad. Okay. Do not go to the to Google. Do not go to translator. No. Just do it the way you think it is. Solo pongan el de la manera que ustedes piensen que es. Okay, we have uh, Jose Lopez, Carla, thank you very much. Denise, Marcela. Okay, we have Griselda. We have Angelica. We have Rina. Okay, what about the other ones? Aún me falta Saúl Alberto. I'll still have Jarin. Marvin, I cannot see it here. Ange okay, Angelica, I can see it. Iris, okay, I see it now. Vanessa, okay, I can see it. Okay. All right. I can see Jocelyn. I can see Marvin too. Thank you very much. What about you, Jarina? I cannot see yours. Rina. Aha. Como que fue a ver por ahí algo, vean, donde lo había notado. Aha. Okay. So, let's see. Saul Alberto. Okay, I can see it there. So, now we're going to check. Vamos a ver who wrote it correctly. We have one, we have two, we have three, we have uh, four, we have five, we have six, seven, eight. Ocho personas lo escribieron bien. No sé si algunos se fueron al Google or not. I don't know, but I want you, I request you for honesty, okay? In English, it is acceptable. El día de ayer yo les dije que decimos snowmobile. 
de la manera que lo escribió José López, Jocelyn y Saúl Alberto. But, pero, también podemos decir de una manera informal, yo puedo decir snow car. ¿Sí? Snow car. También lo puedo decir. Por lo tanto, Anche, no, let me see. Rina, Iris, Vanessa, Marvin, and Venice, Marcela, and yes, just a few. También se puede decir de esa manera. Okay? So, very good. I appreciate that. So, uh, guys, I also want to, uh, to ask you. Si de repente no me escuchan bien, or there's interference, o hay interferencia, let me know, ok? Háganmelo saber. Please. Can you all hear me clearly? Todos me escuchan claro right now. Very good. Thank you. Ok. Let's continue. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jose López. Let's see. The last one, la última, vamos a ver. How do we, how do we, do we write? Uh, let me see. Crucero. Crucero. How do we write that in English? Saúl, Griselda, thank you very much. Carla, thank you very much. You can see it there. Iris, thank you. Angelica, Rina, Vanessa, I can see it there too. Thank you very much. What about the others? ¿Qué hay de los demás? Jose Lopez, okay. Vanessa, Gabriela, I can see it. Angelica, very good. All right. So we're going to stop there. And I'm going to see, let me see, I'm going to check something. Uh, let me see, Carla, give me a number or tell me a number from one to 10. Tell me a number from one to 10. Five. Five. Vamos a ver a quién le toca la suerte. One, two, three, four, and five. Angelica Mendez. Hi. Hi. So let me ask you a question. If I ask you the question, how do you come to school? Which will be your answer? ¿Cómo responderías esa pregunta? How do you come to school? Oh, um, sorry. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. Do you know how to say it? Si sabes cómo decirlo or not? Uh, no. So no. Okay. I I, okay. Perfect. That's fine. I can see Iris. That you raise your hand. Okay, Iris. I come to the school by bus. Excellent. We have that. Thank you very much for that. So, when we ask that question, guys, de nuevo, ¿para qué utilizamos esa pregunta? Why do we use that question? Who can tell me? Why? ¿Por qué hacemos esa pregunta? Or when do we ask that question? Para saber cómo llegar a algún lugar. Excellent. To know how to go to any place and which uh, mean of transportation we are going to use. Para saber cómo llegar y qué tipo de transporte vamos a utilizar. Okay? So I think that that's clear. Thank you very much for part participating in that activity. So, now we are going to move on. Nos vamos a mover a today's topic. Para el tema de hoy, okay? So, today's topic is going to be, guys, about the simple present. Can you all see the slide? Can you all see the presentation on your screen? 
Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So, as it says there, today we are going to see the simple present or the present simple tense. Okay. As it says there, the simple present, we use it when we want to talk about the present. Lo utilizamos para hablar del presente. Something that I'm doing right now. Algo que yo estoy haciendo ahorita en el presente. Yes, that's the way we're going to use it. Now, ¿cómo creo y cómo hago? How do I make positive and negative sentences? How do I create that? Very easy. In order for you to create a sentence, para ustedes crear una oración positive, positiva, first of all, utilizamos el pronombre I, you, we, they, any one of them. Then, el verbo, cualquier verbo, and a complement, y un complemento, yes? Personal pronoun, pronombres personales, ¿Qué cuáles son ellos? I, you, we, they. Okay? Four. Four, right? So I have I, we, you, they. Something very important, algo muy importante in pronunciation. La mayoría de nosotros, cuando estuvimos en la escuelita, alguien nos enseñó que decíamos you. You, hey, you. You, you, you. No. But we don't say that in English. En inglés lo pronunciamos you. You. Ok. Hey, you. Para la próxima vez, desde ya les digo, no pronunciamos you. We say you. Ok. You. That's the right pronunciation that we do when we want to say Tú. Cuando queremos decir tú, we say you, okay? So, let me see, uh, volunteer, any volunteer? Algún voluntario? Okay, I can see Jose López. Thank you very much. We have Carla and we have Sofía too. So, I need you to pronounce, pronunciar these four, estos cuatro personal pronouns. Go ahead. We start with Jose Lopez. Okay, I, uh -huh. we, you, and they. Very good. Thank you very much. Sofia, let's go. Okay. I, we, you, they. Thank you very much. Carla. I, we, you, they. Saul Alberto, go ahead. I, we, you, they. Thank you very much. Okay. How do we form sentences? ¿Cómo formamos oraciones? Once again, personal pronoun, pronombre personal, verb, verbo, complement. So I can say, I like cheese. We like cheese. You like cheese. They like cheese. Ok, Entonces son afirmativas, affirmative. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? I like cheese. Me gusta el queso. We like cheese. Nos gusta el queso. ¿A quiénes? A nosotros. We. You like cheese. ¿Te gusta el queso? ¿A quién? You. They like cheese. Okay. Now, what happens? ¿Qué pasa when I have the third person? Cuando tengo la tercera persona. Let me see. Angelica Mendes. Can you pronounce or can you make the pronunciation of these three personal pronouns, please? He, she, it. Thank you very much. Let me see. Let me see. Rina. Rina, can you make the pronunciation of these three, too? He, she, it. 
Thank you very much. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say Xiomara, but okay, Xiomara. Okay. Xiomara Moran. Hi, good night. Hey, good night. Can you make the pronunciation of these three, please? He, she, it. Sulma. Sulma Maritza, can you please go ahead and do the same? He, she, it. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. That was a really good pronunciation, guys. Okay. For the others, para los demás que probablemente pensaban, porque ya he escuchado algunos que dicen she, para decir ella. In English, guys, cada vez que ustedes vean una letra SH, nunca la vamos a pronunciar chi. Nunca. Porque esa CH es de nuestro español, our Spanish. In English, decimos she. Como que usted está derreando pollos, vea. Shh. Ese mismo sonido. She. She. That's the way we say it. Ok. Y puede sonar así como que, ay, por esa pronunciación. Yes, but that's right. That's what, the way we do it in English. Ok. So for the next time, para la próxima vez, nadie va a pronunciar. You. Porque ¿cómo se pronuncia? How do we say that? You. you. You, Excellent. You, you. And nadie más va a volver a pronunciar chi, porque no decimos chi, decimos chi. Chi. Very good. Okay. So we, we, we understand right now. Okay. So, a estos tres, we call it, or we normally say, normalmente decimos o le llamamos tercera persona. So, every single time, cada vez que ustedes listen to something like third person, cuando alguien les diga third person, tercera persona, okay, you already know that is either he, she, or it. Cualquiera de esos tres. But, como estamos viendo el simple present, ¿qué es lo que sucede cuando yo uso simple present? El verbo lo voy a modificar. ¿Y qué es lo que voy a hacer? Le voy a agregar una letra S. Cuando lo escribo y cuando lo pronuncio va a ser diferente. How? ¿Cómo? En this one, en esta de acá yo decía, I like cheese. Pero en tercera persona yo voy a decir, he likes cheese. ¿Ok? Si ¿Sí escucharon el sonidito de la letra S, right? Okay, so that small sound, ese sonidito, that sound is very important to do it. Es muy importante hacer el sonido de la letra S claro. So, the person, la persona con la que usted está hablando, automáticamente entiende que usted está hablando en tercera persona. Listen again, escuchemos de nuevo. I like cheese. Se fijan ahí, yo no, I, I do not pronounce the letter S. But if I say, he likes cheese. Listen, we make really clear, muy claro el sonido de la letra S. So, let me listen to uh, Sulma. I would like to listen to you. Go ahead, please. Okay. He likes cheese. Very good. That was a good one. Iris Yvet, go ahead. Ahora con esta. Sí. Ajá, uh -huh. go ahead. She does like cheese. No. This one and this one. She likes... She likes cheese. Okay. It, this one is a little bit tricky. Es un poco ahí, cuesta un poquito. ¿Por qué? Porque decimos, she likes cheese. Hay muchas veces ahí, right? Muchas veces. And the, the problem or the situation is that en español no estamos acostumbrados a enrollar la lengua tanto. But in English, it's very important 
de que usted piense, empiece, ¿verdad? A enrollar esa lengüita. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Tongue twisters. ¿Ok? So we say, she likes cheese. She likes cheese. ¿Ok? So let me see. Jose Alberto. Can you do the same, please? Um, she likes cheese. They're very good. Thank you very much. Let me see Vanessa Gabriela. Do the same, please. Vanessa Gabriela, are you there? Hello. Van Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry. It's it fine. Joints like cheese. No, this one and this one. She likes cheese. Okay, very good. Carla, go ahead. We cannot listen to you. You have your microphone off. She likes cheese. Very good. Xiomara. We cannot listen to you, Xiomara. Hi, can you repeat, please? Yeah, I just need you to read this and this. Uh, this too. She likes this. Thank you very much. Saul Alberto, go ahead. She likes this. Once again, please repeat it again. He likes cheese. Okay, very good. Now, so remember guys, remember for the third person and only for the third person, we have to modify the verb. Solo para la tercera persona yo voy a modificar el verb. Let me show you something. ¿Qué pasa si yo tuviera el verbo make? ¿Qué es lo que haría con ese verbo si yo estoy hablando en third person? What would I do? Makes. 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 Excellent. Very good. Now, let me see. What if I have the verb study? Study. Study. Ahí cambia la regla. ¿Por qué? La regla, la regla dice que cuando un verbo termina en una Y precedida por una consonante, study, ¿cuál es la consonante ahí? The letter D, right? So, para formar la tercera persona, yo cambio la letra Y por una I y le agrego ES. So, me queda algo como esto. Yo lo pronuncio. He studies. Le podemos agregar algo ahí. Math. Matemática. So, Grisel, ¿tú no tienes ninguna pregunta? Sí, solo que se puede volver a... I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Okay, say that again, please. I did. I didn't. I didn't listen to you. What was your question, Griselda? Uh, okay. Yeah, I will repeat it. Okay, Saul. If I say, si yo digo maths y le agrego la letra S, eso es literalmente traducir de español a inglés. ¿Sí? Tenemos que quitarnos ese cassette de traducir cosas del español a inglés porque al traducirlas lo traducimos de forma literal. And in English, there's some things that are not similar to Spanish. So we have to try to avoid 
Es por eso que un maestro siempre se da cuenta cuando usted ha usado traductor. Mm -hmm. So, if we do any homework, si alguna vez hacemos alguna tarea así y usted ha usado traductor, I will notice. Siempre lo voy a notar, aunque usted me diga, no, teacher, yo no lo, no lo hice así. ¿Cómo no? Ok. So, where I'm going to explain once again, vamos a explicar una vez más. When the verb, cuando tenemos un verbo, we have a verb that ends, que termina in the letter Y. A verb that ends in the letter Y, such as study. Oh, uh, let me see. Tenemos el verbo carry. ¿Sí saben qué significa el verbo carry? Carry. Does anyone know? ¿Alguien sabe? Does anyone know? Carry. No? Llevar. Llevar. Llevar o cargar. Yes, that's, that's what it is. Okay. So, de nuevo, tenemos el verbo carry. Y porque termina, it ends in a letter Y. Termina en una letter Y. So, yo cambio la letter Y. I change for a letter I. Y le agrego ES. So, it will be something like, he carries the baby. He carries or she carries the baby. Como que yo esté diciendo, ella o él carga el bebé. So, remember. Recuerden todos, esto únicamente sucede en third person. ¿Sí? Please, keep that in mind. No, con, no me vaya a intentar hacer esto con you, ¿verdad? O con we, o con I, porque esto no. Only with he, she, and it. Just with that. ¿Ok? Are we clear? Is it understandable? Is it clear? ¿Estamos claros? Clear. Yes. Claros como que hacemos un examen ahorita y todos 10. Yes. Ajá. Ok. Yes. Let's try. Yes. So, yes. if there's questions, si alguien tiene preguntas o no, or you didn't understand something, ask the questions right now. Pregunten ahorita. ¿No? Una consultita. Ajá. En el ejemplo que usted ponía de Matt, uh -huh. ¿cómo sería? Matt, así como lo hubiera escrito. No, no, no. It will be math. Matemática. Just, just like this. Math. Like that. No, le, no puedo decir matemáticas con la letra S porque, como te dije, es traducción literal de español a inglés. Sería como decir matemática y matemáticas. No, no, no. No. No por eso me refería. Sino que... No. En inglés, aunque tú te refieras a matemáticas, siempre vas a escribir math. ¿Sí? Sí, es como si yo dijera, a él le gustan las matemáticas. He likes math. Las matemáticas. Yo sé que me refiero a matemáticas. Pero en inglés... No le voy a agregar la S solo porque yo en español digo matemáticas. No. Va a estar siempre solo sin S. Ok, I can see that Jocelyn, you have a question. Thank you, teacher. Eh, cuando usted decía que al verbo que terminaba en Y precedido de una consonante, se cambiaba a ES. En el caso del último verbo que puso, que era carry, eh, es igual porque solo termina en. Eh, I, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't quite understand. The, uh, I got lost. Me perdí en la última parte. Can you repeat that again? El primer ejemplo que puso teacher fue con study, uh -huh. eh, que terminaba en YS. Uh -huh.
Well, I think that uh, it is just me. No sé si los demás también como que lo escuchan. Entonces, en el último uh, ejemplo que puso, solo terminaba en Y. Es lo mismo y luego una consonante. Ok. En this one, it's the same. Es lo mismo porque la letra R es una consonante. Sí, so the rule, la regla va a ser siempre la misma. Porque en study, y tenemos los dos. Study, the consonant, la que lo precedía era la D, which is the consonant. Study, the letter D. En carry, también la letra R es una consonante. So, la misma regla va a aplicar para los dos. It's going to... Ah, no, teacher, perdón, yo me confundí. Sí, es que pensé que study terminaba en S. Y luego al ver eh, la otra, el otro verbo que no terminaba en consonante, por eso me confundí. Ah, ok, ok. All right. So, Thank you, teacher. All right. So, is there any question so far? Any other question? ¿Algo otra pregunta? Are we clear? Clear. Cuando termine en vocal. In vowel. Cuando termine en vocal. Ah, like, like what? Como el verbo like, porque termina en vocal. Solamente se le agrega S. Just the letter S. Si yo tuviera, I have something like el verbo eat. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa eat? Comer. 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 So what do I do? ¿Qué es lo que hago con ese verbo? Simple. I just add, solo agregamos la letra S. Eat. Yes. That's it. Nice. Ahora, it's important, es importante saber que hay otra regla. Los verbos que terminan en X, X, SH, PH, les vamos a agregar ES, ES. And let me explain you why. Let me give you an example. Vamos a ver. El verbo wash. What's the meaning of the verb wash? Lavar. 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 Okay. So, if I have the verb wash, y yo quiero decir, él lava el carro. Oh, yeah. He washes the car. He washes, washes the car. Porque la regla dice que como termina en SH, yo le voy a agregar ES. Ok. So, let's keep that in mind. Es importante recordarse de eso. Ok. Are we clear? ¿Estamos claros hasta el momento? Yes. Si yo tengo el verbo watch, ¿qué hago? What do I do with the verb watch? Mirar ver. Yes. Watches. Ver. Ver. Yes. Watches. Yes. We have to add the es at the end. Okay. So I think that we're clear on that part. Estamos claros en esa parte, right? Yes. Ok. Now, eso yes. era solo para las afirmatives, afirmativas. Ahora vamos a las negativas. In the negatives, I will use auxiliary. En las negativas yo voy a utilizar un auxiliary, auxiliar. Para los pronombres I, we, you, and they, yo voy a utilizar the auxiliary don't. Or, que es lo mismo que si yo tuviese do not. Like that. Do not. is the same. Este don't es la contracción de do not. Ok. So, if I want to say, si yo quiero decir... A mí o yo, a mí no me gusta el queso. I don't like cheese. Or, 
si usted no quiere usar la forma contractada porque no le gusta, usted dice, I do not like cheese. ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear? ¿Estamos claros hasta ahí? Yes. Yes. Very yes. good. Now, let's go to the third person. What happens with the third person? In the third person, I will use the auxiliary thus. Contracted doesn't. Doesn't. Or if I don't want to use the contracted form, si no quiero usar la contractada, I say does not. Pay attention to this. Aquí hay algo que cambia. ¿Se recordaban que en las afirmativas yo modificaba el verbo? En tercera persona. Yes, yes. In negatives, en las negativas, ya no lo modifico en tercera persona. Sino que el verbo se queda en tal su cual. Misma base, tal cual. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando uso el auxiliar, ya no es posible hacerlo. ¿Sí? Just in the negatives. Solamente en las negativas. ¿Ok? Are you understanding? Are you understanding, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok. Yes, yes. Is, yes there, teacher. is there any question? Yes. El momento? Are we clear? Clear. Ok, let me see. I will write on the chat. Les voy a escribir en el chat una oración y necesito que me la pasen a negativa, ¿ok? So, let me see. Let me see. Let me write it down. have it there. So I want you to write that in negative. Negativas. Very good. Thank you very much, Carla. Saúl Alberto, ok. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rina Margarita. Thank you, Griselda. Angelica, okay. Okay, what about the other ones? Que hay de los demás? Somos 20, we are 20. And I can just see some of you. Jocelyn, thank you, okay. Jose Lopez, I can see it there too. Vanessa, Zulma, ok. Rosa Melida, ok. What about the other ones? ¿Qué hay de los demás? Denis, Marcela, ok, I can see it, thank you very much. Janine, she does, watches the movie, okay. All right, so I think that we got pretty much, okay, let me see. Let's watch, okay, so let's watch. Marvin Marroquin, okay. Okay, guys, let me tell you. Carla Romero, you got it correct. Está correcta. Saul, she doesn't watch us. That's incorrect. Why? Porque incorrecto? Because 
desde que esté en negativa y aunque está en tercera persona, we do not modify the verb. No lo modificamos en negativo. So, Angélica, that's perfect. Rina Margarita, again, eh, le agregaste ES, and that's not possible, it's incorrect. Griselda, too, why? Remember, in negatives, we do not modify the verb. No modificamos el verbo, aunque hablemos de tercera persona, solo en negativos. Okay, let me see, Jocelyn, the same situation. Jose Lopez, that's correct. Vanessa, the same situation. We do not add ES because it is negative. Sulma, that's correct. Julia Yesenia, that's correct. Jose Alberto, that's correct. Rosa Melida, that is correct too. Jarin, no. The same situation. She doesn't watch Denise Marcela, that's correct. Iris Ibet, that's correct. Well, me cambió el verbo por una, por una letra C y una H. Ahí me está diciendo, she doesn't, ella no lava la película todos los días. Yeah. So be careful with that, okay? So Marvin Marroquín, that's correct. Julia, that's correct. Laura, no, the same situation. Xiomara, okay, that's fine. Okay, perfect. All right, so, questions, preguntas hasta el momento. Is it clear? Estamos claros? Clear as the water or please clear as or chat or something like that? Clear, estamos claros? Yes, teacher. Perfect. So let's move on. So let's see what else do we have. We have here that we're going to use, usamos el simple present para hablar de hábitos. Our habits that we do all the time, okay? Solo en negativo, exactly. Solo en negativo, third person, Saul, tercera persona. Examples. We have, I get the service bus at 7 a.m. in the morning. Yo tomo el bus a las 7 de la mañana. John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. Juan se lava los dientes antes de ir a la cama. So that's a habit. Habits, hábitos. I play football at break time. Juego fútbol durante mi descanso. Break time, okay? My sister goes sailing on weekends. Mi hermana va a pescar los fines de semana, okay? Goes. Goes. All right. Let's see. Let's move on. Something that you also need to remember, guys, something very important, algo muy importante, is that we are going to use the simple present too para hablar de cosas que son verdad, which are true, always true. For example, if I say the sky is blue, el cielo es azul, that's obvious, right? Es obvio que no se nos va a poner eh, negro, probably in the night or at night. But during the day, that's going to be blue, okay? Or if I say the earth goes round the sun, the sun, I mean, la tierra da vueltas alrededor del sol. I am a student. You see, those are things, the cosas que son reales, que son verdad, I am going to use the simple present, el presente simple, okay? Are we clear on that part? Estamos claros hasta ahí. Clear? Vamos a tomar el silencio como un yes. Clear. All right. 
here are the rules. Aquí están las reglas que yo les estaba mencionando anteriormente. Ok. Los verbos, the verbs ending in CH, S, SH, O, or X. Le vamos a agregar ES. Examples, watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fixes. Ok. We have a, another rule, la otra regla que ya les había mencionado. If the verb ends in the letter Y, termina en una letra J, but is preceded, está precedida by a consonant, por una consonante, I change the letter Y for a letter I, <coughs> I'm sorry, and I add ES. So I said study, studies, carry, carries, Sorry. fly, flies, okay? That's what I do. So those are the rules that we need to remember so we don't make mistakes. So let me see. In English, tenemos el verbo pagar, which is this one, pay, pagar. ¿Qué pasa con ese verbo? Si se fijan, if you can notice, termina con la letra Y. Pero como no está precedida de una consonante, sino que es una vowel, una vocal, yo no, Solo agregamos eso. no voy a cambiar la letra Y por una I. No. En ese caso, solo le voy a agregar the letter S. That's it. ¿Por qué? Porque si bien termina en letra Y, pero está precedida por a vowel. ¿Ok? For a vowel. Ok, so I hope you understood. Espero que me vayan siguiendo. All right? So, Bye. let me see. Vamos a ver. Angelica, tell me a number from 1 to 10. Uh, do he like basketball? No, no, no. no tell, me, tell me a number. A number from 1 to 10. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, Tell me a number. One, two, three, four, five, from one to ten. I don't know. Jarin. Oh, she said Jarin automatically. So, Jarin. The first one, la primera no la vamos a contar because that's, we are going to see that tomorrow, okay? We're going to go with the second one. Jarin, is there a mistake on number two? Hay algún error in number two? If there's a mistake... Tell me, what is the mistake? Jarin, go ahead. Seria, um, eat, eating. Eating. Ese es el error for you. That's the mistake for you. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Let me see, uh, Carla. What's the mistake, Carla? Likes. Likes. Correct. Why? Because when I use the personal pronoun I, I right. have to modify the verb because that only happens in the third person. Okay. I like. I like. Perfect. Like that. So, Jose Alberto, is there a mistake on number three? And if your answer is yes, what is the mistake? She does not, does, does, creo que le falta ES, doesn't, doesn't, okay. sería ella. Doesn't, okay, are you sure? Let me see. Rina Margarita, do you agree? ¿Está de acuerdo con lo que José Alberto dijo? Mm, yes, teacher. Yes, okay, let me see. Saúl. Alberto, what do you think? Do you agree? No. No, no why not? No sé, pero algo me dice que no. <laughs> no creería que fuera eso lo que yo dije. Porque... 
corazonada te dice que no. <laughs> Algo me okay. dice que no. Mi corazón ok, Sofía, no. Stephanie, what do you think, Sofía? Sofía, hello. Hello, hello. Well, she's not there. Marvin, what do you think, Marvin? Sí, creo que le falta en Homewards. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your participation. Uh, well, Jose, well, it was Jose who said something, right? Let me see. Yeah, Jose Alberto, he said, este fue el que estuvo más cerca de todos. Aunque él se confundió porque él pensó que estábamos refiriéndonos a esto. Doesn't. Y en este caso, él no está actuando como auxiliar, sino que está actuando como verbo. En cambio, en este caso, Hacer. auxiliar para negativo. So, con eso dicho. Solo lo que nos hacía falta aquí era ES. That's it. Porque decimos, she does her homework on the service bus. Ella hace su tarea en el servicio, pero no refiriéndome al servicio de letrinas, no en el bus, right? Ok. So, alguien por ahí mencionó homeworks. That is a common mistake. Es un error común de querer decir, como en español decimos tareas, también querer traducir homeworks y querer decir tareas. Lo mismo que me preguntaba Saúl, creo yo, con matemática. He was asking me, so yo le agrego la S y ya estoy diciendo matemáticas. No, in English guides we have some rules. Tenemos eh, reglas las cuales nos permiten no cometer ese tipo de errores. So in this one, cada vez que usted se refiere a tareas, aunque esté en plural, esta palabra es estandarizada. ¿sí? Even though you're talking about multiple things, múltiples tareas, siempre va a decir homework. ¿Ok? Perfect. Let me see. Volunteer to help me with the next one. Con esta de acá. The film. Jocelyn. Ajá, uh -huh, Jocelyn. AD. Mm, where? Donde? Where? And finish. Hmm. What's missing? ¿Qué es, ¿Qué es lo que le falta? What's missing there? Le falta. Maybe. The letter E. Hmm. Let me see. José Lo. Finish it. Okay. Okay. José López, what do you think? Eh, eh, uh, dice, no terminar, tiene de más la letra S. La tiene. Finish, okay. Do you agree, Angelica? Do you agree? Eh, recuerdo que dijo que se le iba, iba a agregar IS. Why? S en finish. Why? ¿Por qué? Why? Eh, porque está la SH. SH. So, la regla decía, if the verb ends in the letter SH, I have to add ES. Por lo tanto, ES. le agregamos ES. Y we say, the film finishes at 8. ¿Por la película lo modificamos y le agregamos ES si nos estamos refiriendo a la película? ¿Por qué? Hay una cinta solo. Porque lo podríamos, esta la película, lo podríamos sustituir por el pronombre personal it, que se refiere a cosas y animales. Ok, thank you very much for that. So guys, um, we do not have enough time.
time is running and flying. Se nos fue el tiempo. So we are going to try to practice this tomorrow. Espero que todos hayan entendido. Hope you understood a little bit about it. If you have questions or something like that, please, tomorrow we will start with the questions. If you have questions, mañana al inicio vamos, we're going to try to resolve your questions of your doubts or dudas, okay? So I hope you understood something today. That is going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the class. And see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? So have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Tisha. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.